Today's review is the second of the new beers, eight different beers that we've I recently got from Sainsbury's. This is a Polly's, another Polly's. This is Haunted by These Dreams. It's a pal out 5.3% with Columbus, Galaxy and Simcoe. But what's it going to be like? Keep watching to find out. Welcome back to Rocker's Beer Review. Today we're going back to Polly's. If you saw the last video that I did, which was the first of the new Sainsbury's beers, I've got the can here. This was the uh, the Florette. Really disappointed, a poor score, probably the lowest score, definitely, well I'd say pretty much definitely a lowest score of a Polly's beer that I've had, I've done. Really disappointed. I know an extra Palau is is going to be lighter but there was very little taste to it and i'm very i was disappointed i preferred considering how good it was originally i'm really disappointed they ruined it basically but this one i've got better hopes for one it's got five it's 5.3 percent which i think is a good level for a for a pale ale um i'm sure i mean i have seen this one on their on their website i don't know whether it was on their prior to it going into Sainsbury's or it's just in there because I know things like what which is the one that's in Marks and Spencer's and even things like satin pattern and stuff that would be in Morrison's for a while is also on the website so I'm not sure if it suddenly appeared but I don't know I've just got a better feeling about this one that it's more of a sort of more of a, a tradition you know it's more of up to the normal standards no compromise sort of um, beer but let's crack it into the old Polly's glass and see if it's Hopefully better than the others. Up to if it's up to the normal sort of parallel quality of, of Polly's, then we'll be all right. Because I think Polly's is still. I still think their sweet spot is is parallels because they make very good parallels. This one, well, there's still a lot of carbonation and it's not as translucent and not. Uh, I don't know. I use that word. I don't know if that's the word. It's not certainly not as opaque. It is hazy, but it's just, you can see it's much more sort of orangey and light in its colour than sort of custardy colour. We've got two fingers, off-white and fairly loose bubbled head. You can just see that there. I have a feeling that when I look at it, when I look at it in my screen, it looks out of focus, but it's because these to do with the glasses, I think. Um, yeah, so it looks okay, but it doesn't look that dissimilar to how Florette was. See what the aroma's like. Oh, smells really nice, nice and fruity, but a mixed sort of bag of like orange, mango, passion fruit, all kinds of stuff really, but nothing that's sort of distinctive, but it just smells fruity and inviting. So let's just, let's just dive in, shall we? Cheers, everyone. First things first, definitely better than the Florette Extra Palau. More flavour. Body-wise, it's pretty light. A little bit of zippy carbonation. Again, unlike Polly's. I think that's where they're compromising on these beers. Because this is... It's fruity and refreshing, but it, it almost tastes like a supermarket beer. Flavour-wise, yeah, like the aroma... It's just a bit of a mixed bag of fruitiness, really. Difficult to pick out stuff. Yeah, there's a bit of tropical flavour. There's a little bit of citrus, orange. You not really get much in terms of grapefruit or anything like that. There's no sort of uh, complexity, really, to the flavour. I think I'm going to take my glasses off, actually. No real complexity to the flavour in terms of you get a, a hit of tropical fruit flavours, and then that's it. There's no sort of back end flavour. It doesn't develop because it's so thin and light. You know, the, there's nothing that sort of sticks around. And that's different than normal parallels from Polly's. Some of their parallels can be sort of for up to about 5.6%. Um, but I mean, this one, what did I say? It was 5.3. It's it's higher than than a lot. You can get you know you can get parallels four point five four point four point five to five. Five as soon as you're getting over closer to five and a half, you are close to sort of what you would more expect from an, an IPA. But this is definitely a very parallel in its body and mouth feel. Very sort of fizzy, a little bit fit, well, a little bit fizzy. Not really soft and mega light and thin really. 
but the flavors are there and it's certainly refreshing but it it, it doesn't it, to me it doesn't um elevate polys above their normal sort of uh, you know it doesn't elevate polys in terms of their supermarket spears we've had a couple from them over the years that have been up there with some of the best i mean they've had i think parallels and ipas but they've been up there with some of their better beers but this is definitely a step down from the better beers. If you went on the bottle shop and avoided any of the supermarket beers and bought a dozen beers, and you could easily buy a dozen different beers, you know, of IP, you, even if you just took IPAs and power hours, half and half, you know, six of each, I guarantee that every one of them would be better than this. And that's just to say this is bad. It's got a place in a supermarket beer where you think, yeah, I quite like that. But you can pay, I mean, if you, I paid, I think it was 350 for this. And yeah, if, ignore the four for free deal, but you can be paying four pound, four pound odds, maybe a little bit more, four pound, four pound 50 for a good pal out from Polly's. And there's difference, it's quite night and day. This is not bad and it's refreshing and it's, you know, if you're buying four of these and you own a barbecue or you're, you know, you're drinking it, you want a session with them as well. Then they're pretty, they're pretty good. But they're not, they're not elevated over things like, I don't even think they're elevated above things like Hazy Jane by Brewdog. Things like Vocations, I don't even know if it's still available, they're Hop, Skip and Juice. There are other pal hours that you see roll with it, stuff like that not really it's equal to those it's not better whereas polys are a better brewery so what i think is that if you've never had a polys before you might drink this thing yes yeah, all right but i'm not going to go and seek them out but if you go to their bottle shop and drink them you'll, you'll be a fan for life i think and a lot of people that know drink them on drinks don't drink supermarket beers and they'll drink polys and they'll always say yeah this is really good beer this is really good beer it's always you know it's always up there polys are in my top three breweries in the country so they're not rubbish um but obviously i think they're letting themselves down a little bit with their supermarket beers of recent they are obviously having a compromise they've having to sort of cut some corners so to speak to get the value in there to get the get them in the supermarkets and it's a gamble you know and it may pay off but it may not pay off i think if you like someone like me who's a big mega fan i'm not going to be going and going yeah i, I want polys these are not really up to up to the up to the polys name i'm buying supermarket beers though and i've got to admit now there's a lot of disappointing beers that I struggle to think, yeah, there's some real go-tos that I will still buy. Um, so a little bit disappointed. But there's, we've got, I've got six more beers. Uh, obviously, we've got ones from Salt and Tiny Rebel. Maybe they'll be better. This, I'm a, I'm disappointed. It's better than the, the Florette. But I think that's just because of the ABV is a bit higher. But in terms of flavour, it's inoffensive but it doesn't have the mouth feel to really elevate it. So let's get some scores. Okay, the scores are in four. Haunted by these dreams. By Polly's, it's a pal out, 5.3%. We have Columbus, Galaxy and Simcoe. Yeah, I mean, I, even those hops really you're not getting the full bite of Galaxy, for example. You have a Galaxy and an IPA, you can really get the flavour, and it's like a real that dankness and real over-ripened tropical fruits. In this Palau, you you know, you can put any three in, in, it hops in there, but they're not really, they're not jumping out really to me. But let's go for the score, starting with aroma. Appearance. Flavour. Value for money, and finally my overall experience. Tighten the scores up. It's another disappointing score. It's it's recommended just. I think mainly because the the price is cheap, and it's an inoffensive beer. It do, it's not it doesn't taste horrible. It's I've had lots of worse beers than this. This is perfectly drinkable. And if you like your things like you know your hop skip hop skip and juice, I don't even know if that's still available. But if you like things like vocations, parallels. Um, what other parallels have been reasonably good? Mm, vocations. I mean, even things like Faith. It's not dissimilar to Faith uh, by Northern Monk. 
uh, but it's not, I want it to, I expect more from Polly's. My expectations are always greater and this has fallen quite far. So your total score, low 70s, just about recommended. And as I say, I really struggle to find, think of beers that are really good in the supermarkets. We've had so many recent, over the last sort of month, few months, nothing's really jumped out as being like, oh yeah, I want to go back and drink that again. Yeah, I mean, I haven't had anything recently from Morrison's, but uh, I mean, obviously the, the, there's a couple of Northern Monks that are good. I think, I think I, the, you know, the the ones that that were high up in the, in the, in the Northern Monk rankings, the Transient and... Um, uh, what was the other one? The Hazy Eye, oh, what was it called? I can't remember what it's called now. The other one, which are Faith of the Futures. And all of those, they're, they're, they're pretty much like, oh, what a beer, they're quite good. Um, but yeah, there's better beers to be had. But let me know if you've had this, especially if you drink Polly's regularly, what do you think of this in comparison with it? Am I am I right? I think I'm right, you know, and, uh, and if you've had the Floret as well, then I hope that you know you'll you'll agree with me, especially if you've had it before, that that is definitely a step down. And I think you know you've got to compromise if you want to be in supermarkets. Supermarkets say squeeze you by the old, uh, <laughs> you know what? And uh, and I think you know that's the problem is that you, you you have to compromise on the brewing process. You can pay, you can charge more for your better quality beer, but you have to sort of say, well, okay, we're hitting people in the supermarkets that would normally pay. 12 quid for like a dozen bottles of madri and they're going to be paying three pound 50 or thereabouts for one beer i mean even that's going to be expensive but they've got to get it low down and god knows they might have sold that sold the beer to sainsbury's for a quid a can you know so you know you don't know how exactly the, the finances work i don't know how they work but you know if you know how they work let me know in the comments because that's something that i really find interesting how much do you reckon polly's are selling this can of beer for when uh, you know to, to, to get them into sainsbury's let me know in the comments. And until the next one, well, you know what you do. Drink good craft beer. Don't necessarily rely on the supermarkets, but keep on rocking.